This is the fretted clavichord. Uh, it's resting comfortably on my desk in my bedroom, not a very large instrument. Uh, wanted to make a quick video just to uh, talk a little bit more about it. Uh, was built in 1981 by a gentleman named Thomas Drew of San Buenaventura, California. Uh, he left an inscription on the lowest key lever on the instrument, the low C, which says that this was the fifth instrument that he uh, had built and that of this type it was uh, the second. This instrument is the same model as the King of Sweden clavichord, which is a very popular kit that uh, is still offered by Zuckerman Harpsichords International. However, this instrument, uh, given the uniqueness of the materials uh, that were used, it does not appear to be a kit-built instrument. I don't know the maker, never met him. My hunch or my suspicion is that he probably built one of these instruments from a kit uh, as his first instrument and then built this uh, instrument second. Uh, either using uh, all original parts or perhaps even using parts such as, you know, the tangents and the soundboard and what have you uh, that would have been supplied by Zuckerman and then using um, other parts of his his own uh, as well. So, as you can see, I mean, it's a, it's a visually stunning instrument. This it, It's a solid maple case. Uh, it has along the uh, listing cloth plate here and the lid, this beautiful print, and then also on the toolbox, there's even more. It's not a painting, it's a print, but you really can't tell unless you get up close to it. The soundboard is in, you know, immaculate shape, no cracks, no sagging, uh, no separation uh, of the bridge from the soundboard. There's even a, a, a pretty little scroll on the bridge there. Um, double strung throughout in yellow brass, no iron, no red brass. And it's got the historic type tuning pins. If we come down to the toolbox, it of course has the uh, Zuckerman tuning hammer. Has these wonderful skunk tail sharps, which uh, appear to be the maple with whatever material he used on the uh, natural touch plates. And of course, there's you know gilding on the arcades. They they don't appear to be actual gold, but it 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 matches quite well with just the overall color of the case, the maple, and and with the brass strings as well. Um, we have a, a Latin motto, Omnis Spiritus Laudit Dominum, let everything that has breath praise the Lord, um, on the, uh, the fall board here, which is attached to the lid. Um, this strip of wood here serves as a music desk. I'll grab the sheet of music that I'm playing in the other video. It's Martin Pearson, The Fall of the Leaf. Your music can just rest right there. The keyboard is just absolutely stunning. This is something like you would see uh, this arrangement with the skunk tail sharps maybe in like an English bent side spinet or uh, an Italian harpsichord, but it's really, it's beautiful. It's really fun to play. It has a really uniform touch, really uniform tone. It's just a, it's a beautiful instrument. I'm gonna close the lid very carefully because I'm holding the phone with one hand and closing the lid with the other. And you can see the top of the lid has this uh, wonderful, uh, looks to be walnut marquetry. And then we have these uh, really stunning, the camera keeps going out of focus, really stunning dovetails that run around the case. Uh, and there, of course, is the molding. And so all in all, as you can see how light this instrument is, it's a little bit heavier than your typical King of Sweden clavichord. I actually just parted ways with my kit-built Zuckerman King of Sweden instrument, what was made out of um, walnut. And this one's a little bit heavier, but, you know, 45-note compass instrument uh, tuned to A465. It's a beautiful instrument. It plays really well, holds its tune really well. No surprise there. Most of the uh, King of Sweden clavichords are known to be really stable in tuning. And so it'd, it'd be a, a, a gorgeous showpiece, gorgeous practice instrument. It's just an all in all, a really lovely um, and handy little clavichord. So whoever ends up owning it next, I hope that they make really good use of it.